Make it stop. Make it stop. It's hurting my ears and I can't get it off my back. Make it stop, please. Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we're going to be taking a look at the awesome Adventurer's Backpacks Mod which allows you to craft many different backpacks with special powers to help out even the greatest of adventurers, including me. So let's get straight to it. So in this ender chest right here we have the ingredients to make the normal backpack and some other cool things to be able to help you with your backpack. So here is your normal backpack. I'm probably going to say the word backpack a lot in this review so you better be prepared for that word. So to craft one of these you're going to need four leather so you put one leather in each corner. You're just going to need one gold at the top, one sleeping bag at the bottom, one chest in the middle and then a backpack tank either side. Now to craft a sleeping bag which is a brand new item in this mod you're going to need any colour of carpet along the middle, three of them and then any colour wool on the top and then for the backpack tank you're going to need seven glass in a H shape in the crafting table and then two ironing it's one on the top and one on the bottom as well so the tanks seem a little bit random but those are going to make sense any second now and the sleeping bag as well but the chest and the rest all make sense so let's just grab this quickly and then i'll get to the rest of the items um oh <laughs> why do you stand so close to me all the time i know this backpack's interesting you know what i'll put it on the ground for you so you can right click the ground and you will have your amazing backpack what do you think no he doesn't like it whatsoever you wait till we get to the interesting ones buddy you wait you wait. So if you want to um, place it on the ground, you can do. You can also right click it and it will open up the inventory where you've got little bits of space. You've also got the tanks on either side, which can hold fluid. So it can hold either water or lava in each side, which is awesome. It's also got a crafting table, which you can click on and you can like craft on the go. You click this button to go back. And then you also have a built in sleeping bag. So what you need to do is place your backpack down and have two squares or two blocks. No idea why I said squares. Two blocks of space um, free around your backpack. To open up the sleeping bag and click that and there you go you can now sleep well we, we would be able to sleep if we hadn't already just woken up so um you right click again click that and it will go back in and then to pick up your backpack you just break it as normal here we go boom and we might as well wear it as well so we wear it as normal on our back as you would expect and on the back there as you can see you've got kind of like the brown parts on the left and the right those are the two tanks and as you fill them up which i'll show you in a bit those will kind of fill up on the back as well which is a cool little feature so so, the only issue is, what if you want to wear armor while you're wearing this backpack? Well, this comes with a very, very nice solution to that. So, we've got the Adventurer's Fedora, we have the Adventurer's Suit, and the Piston Boots. So, the Adventurer's Fedora takes this crafting recipe just here. Then, we've got the Adventurer's Suit, which takes this crafting recipe right here. And the solution is that this is both a chest plate and a pair of pants put together. And then, you've got Piston Boots, which are actually quite special. Require two pistons, one slime ball, and a pair of boots. And let's pop these on. So we've already got our backpack on. Let me take that off for a sec. And let's put all of these on. And as you can see, we're wearing a full amount of armor. But our chest plate slot isn't taken. So we can pop our backpack on here. And we can look like an absolutely amazing adventure. Look at us. We're like Indiana Jones. Yes, we're ready to go and explore caves and steal riches. So the piston boots I just mentioned, check it out. And listen. Every time you jump, you get a piston sound, and you can jump a lot higher. So how high can we jump? Can we jump two blocks now? Oh, we can jump three. We can jump three blocks. Charles, did you hear that? He still does not care. So let's get on to some of the more interesting stuff in this mod. Let's leave this on for now. So you can also make different kinds of backpacks as well. So if we just take some of these, there's tons of backpacks in there. I think there's over 60, which is crazy. If we just take this off a second, we can do different colors. So if we put this one in the middle and then put red wool all the way around, we can make the red, the red back, backpack. Oh, dear. Let's try that again, shall we? So the issue was that the other ones I had were a brown backpack. So I've got standard ones here and you can make different colors. So to make the brown one, you need brown wool, but we're going to make a red one and put red wool all the way around the outside. I can make a really cool red adventure backpack. These don't have any special abilities. They just look cooler. And then we can go one step further and make a diamond backpack. My perfect kind of backpack. Here we go. Check this out. I'm going to wear this right now. This is my kind of backpack. Look at that. Look, now Treoris is interested. Now you're in 
interested, buddy. But you're about to get even more interested because we've got some really cool things that we can add to this, including a hose and a machete. So a machete is just normal. It's got a machete handle and two iron ingots. And this is how you craft the handle. It's a little bit complex, but it's a very, very good weapon. And the most interesting probably is the hose. So the hose takes a hose nozzle, which is one gold, one lever, and then two iron. And then you have to add that to four cactus green and you get a hose. So while you're wearing a backpack, you will put it into your inventory and you have a way. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I will I will attack you with this hose, buddy. Yeah, you, you back away. So we're going to go outside here. And what we can do now is um, absorb some of this water and lava out here. So let's go out here and all oh, the piston boots are really launching me in the air. So as you can see, it says left tank and it's on suck mode. So you can press the N key and you can change it to the right tank. So we're going to fill up the right tank on our backpack with water and then you can change the different types as well. So right click and it will suck it in. And as you can see, you can hold up to 4,000 in the hot bar. So we now have a full right hand tank. Look at that. And then if you hold a shift and then use the mouse wheel, you can either drink it or you can spill it. So in spill mode, you can literally just like place down buckets of water. And as you can see, look very closely at the back of my backpack when I spill this. Look, watch this. And it goes down. How cool is that? And then you can make it back into suck mode and then you can suck it back up. So let's go and grab this water back. Grab this water. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. And you can do exactly the same with lava as well. So now that we've taken a look at these standard backpacks and how to craft them, I'm going to show you all of the special backpacks in this mod. Are you ready, guys? They're right behind me. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Check them out. They look absolutely amazing. Look how many there are. I'm not going to show you how to craft them because that will all be in the description below, but we're going to have some fun with this mod. So let's grab, um, let's keep these items for a sec. Let's go for this one first, which is the cactus backpack. Now this backpack is very, very cool looking indeed. Check this out. So there we go. We have an awesome cactus type backpack. And what this one does is it will automatically fill with water while you're standing in water so if I go into here and then go into my imagery you can see that it's slowly filling up both tanks with water and I'm not even doing anything you don't even need a hose I have got a hose on me at the moment but you don't even need one how cool is that I don't even yeah look you can see in the bottom left you can see that it's still sucking water into the tanks how cool is that so that is a special ability for that and means you don't need a hose at all so let's plop this one back onto the shelf and now we're going to pick up the cow backpack <laughs> this one looks so derpy oh my goodness it's not as derpy as the, the the pig one though so let's shove this one on looks beautiful as you would imagine and this one will generate water as you have wheat in your inventory what we need to do is open up the backpack menu and I forgot to tell you this I think which is when you're wearing a backpack on your back You press the B key to be able to get your adventurers backpack inventory up here So we need to put wheat inside here and it will slowly start to generate Milk or it should do anyway. It's slowly going down. Are you generating milk? Mr. Cow backpack because I don't see any maybe we need some buckets I don't really know what's going on here. Look, it's it's taking it's taking it out, but it's not generating any milk. Oh no, it is. Oh geez, look at this. It's generating milk. So if you put wheat inside the inventory of the cow backpack, it, it will start to make milk. And the best part about it is if we take this out, you can make this into the drink mode. And then right click when it's full and you'll be able to drink the milk from your backpack. How cool is that? Well then, Creeper Backpack, come to me. I don't know if this one is going to work because we have no players near us, but if we go over to Traorus and just quickly have a little bit of a sneak, ready? Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that, Traorus? Yeah, I thought you did. He wasn't scared, though, because he knows what's going on. So basically, this is the Creeper Backpack, which will allow you to, when you shift or sneak, it will play the Creeper sound. So what you're able to do is properly scare your friends into thinking that there's a Creeper nearby, which I think is amazing. What a troll. And speaking of Creepers, we now have the Ocelot Backpack. And what this one does is scares off Creepers. So, let's grab ourselves some very scary Creepers. Um, I'm going to do this outside as you would imagine and we're gonna see if they are actually scared of us or not this could go very very wrong couldn't it but um i guess we're gonna try it out let's munch some chicken first for a little bit of confidence um let's take the backpack off first and then spawn in the creepers and then see what they do so creepers are coming after me oh my goodness i need to run
run a little bit. I need to run. I need to run. So there's the creepers. Let's put the backpack on. And then they're running away. Look at this. <laughs> Get out of here, you punks. Get out of here. You don't belong here. Go away. Go away. Oh, no. I exploded him. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. Look at him running away. Get out of here, chump. Well, then, up next is this really cool-looking skeleton backpack. So, if you go into the inventory, so we'll go to press a B, and then you can add arrows to it, and it will take the arrows out of the backpack before it takes the ones out of your inventory when you fire a bow. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Let's pop these into here, and then take a look at our arrow count when we fire an arrow. So, let's fire one. And open up our backpack inventory and there you go. Look, it takes the arrows out of the backpack before it takes them out of your inventory. So you can kind of have like a little quiver going on. So you don't need to take a space up in your inventory for arrows. Because you can just store them in here and allow them to kind of be consumed. How cool. Time for the slime. So hey slime, how are you doing? I love this backpack because I just love the slime's face. And what this does is I think it makes you slippy while you run. That's what it says anyway. It's a little bit strange. I think it allows you to sprint a little bit faster and it adds sound effects, I think. So, yeah. This, this, yeah, if you can hear it, listen. Gross. That sounds so gross. No, I need to take this off. Get out of here. No, I'm leaving you out here. Sorry, backpack. Sorry. And here we have Mr. Chicken. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker through these. So this one, while you walk around, you might have to wait for a little bit. But if we listen for the sound... There we go. There we go. It happened. It happened. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Oh my goodness. Open this. Where did it go? Where did the egg go? So it will pop out an egg every now and then. So you're literally like your own little chicken. However, I, I don't know where the egg went. The egg is missing. Melon backpack is up next. And this one is a little bit full already. So let's just grab this one. And this works in exactly the same way. Come here, backpack. I swear I will wear you. Um, and this works in exactly the same way as the cactus does. So let's just plop into here. But can you see that? It says, it says melon juice. So this will fill up with a brand new liquid called melon juice, which you can drink and replenish your hunger with. How, how awesome is that? The wolf backpack is up next, and this one's an interesting one. So if you're out in the wild and you accidentally punch a wolf, you're going to be in major trouble because they, they will destroy you, but... Luckily, with this backpack equipped, you will be, um, you'll be freed from that. So, let's go ahead and hit this wolf. He's not gonna, he's gonna be mad, but did you see that? He gets converted straight back. So, if I hit this one, I'm gonna be very, very dangerous here. There's gonna be creepers around as well. It's so gonna be very, very upset. So, let's just punch this wolf and then run. Run, 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 quick, because otherwise they're gonna destroy me. Where are they? There they are. And if we pop the backpack on, there we go. They're all converted back to nice little ones. Why are you standing on his head? That's a bit, bit rude. Bit rude. But anyway, they get converted back to their smiley, happy doggy selves. How awesome. So this next one is... Can you guess what it is? Yep. Yep. It's the Nyan Cat. So the Nyan Cat backpack... Wow, um, I didn't think we'd be able to have one. Actually, it's called the rainbow backpack, but we put this on. It doesn't do anything, but apparently, if you eat a golden apple, then it will do something pretty amazing. So, sh should we eat it? Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Grim, look. Grim, let's party. Let's party. Where's Treyos? Treyos, let's party, buddy. Let's party. Oh, yeah. Stop. 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 I've done it now. Oh, God. Stop. But no. Oh, my goodness. It won't stop. Please. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. It's not stopping. The music won't go away. Oh, my ears. It was fun for a little bit, but now. Ow. Is it stopped? Has it, has it stopped? I think it stopped. What happened to my backpacks? What happened? What did Nyan Cat do to my backpacks? Oh dear. Anyway, at least the ones that we've still got to go through haven't changed. I can't remember which one this one is. Looks very, very strange. Which one is it? It's the redstone one. Of course it is. So let's pop this on our back. And this will emit redstone when you place it on the ground. So let's set up a very, very simple contraption. Look at this. I'll put a tutorial on how to do this later on. <laughs> and then if you put down the, um, the, the bag next to a redstone signal, there you go. So you could pop down your backpack for the night and it will activate like a night light or something like that. Maybe lock all your doors. I think that'll be pretty cool actually. Yeah, that's really awesome. So there you go. The redstone backpack has been born. We now have the piggy backpack. This one is extremely, extremely useful. Possibly one of the best. Listen. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? It was very, very subtle, but this backpack will oink when you're wearing it. 
And we're on to the final two. I'm going to go for this one first, which is the bookshelf backpack. Let's pop this on our back. Actually, let's grab something from the table. So I have 39 levels. Perfect for an enchanting something to the maximum amount. And if I pop this diamond pickaxe in here, you can see I can get a level 30. Now, if we hit this up with the bookcase backpack... Can we enchant it even more? I think these two levels were boosted, weren't they? So we've got 8, 16, and 30. Let's take this off. And we've got... Yeah, look, 6, 15, and 30. So if you don't have the amount of bookshelves that you need to get to maximum level 30, just so pop the, um, the bookshelf backpack on, and you can have a little bit of an extra boost to your enchantment. How awesome is that? What do we get? Wow, that's good. And the final one, perfect timing is because it's getting dark, is the glowstone backpack. And you can imagine what this one does. Can you guess? Can you guess? Let's go into this slightly dark corner here. And then we're going to pop the backpack on and it will glow, basically. Are you going to glow? It doesn't like it's glowing that much. Glow backpack, glow. I think it might be only when you place it down, maybe. That might be it. I guess that makes sense. So let's place this here. And there you go. Look. It glows. It glows in the dark. So you can use this one or the redstone one to light up your world. And that is pretty much the Backpacks mod. It's a really, really awesome mod. And probably the best, well, it, it is the best Backpacks mod out there with all the special abilities and the array of different Backpacks that you can discover. So if you liked this mod and would like to try it out for yourself, which I'd highly recommend, then please do go to the description below to find all the crafting recipes and all the information and, most importantly, the mod download for you in the description below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated to see more minecraft mod showcases like this awesome one and if you also enjoyed this video then please do consider subscribing and joining team tdn today for daily minecraft videos and we will see you all next time thanks so much for playing to minecraft us today guys bye